Warning, warning, warning. Yeah, boys and girls, it's just quick warning. If you don't like black humor, 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 yeah, black humor, just please, just please skip this video. Just skip it. This video is will be not for you if you not fucking understand black humor, okay? All what I will mention in this video is just joke. Don't take it personally. Or try something new, you know? Stuff. So, boys and girls, if you decide to watch it, yeah, it's just going on and watch it. It's, it's nothing much. But keep in mind, it will be black. It will be very, very black. So, yeah, see you later. Yeah, hello, wankers. So today I decided to make some small video, small which one will be fucking long, but nobody freaky cares about free stuff, about free stuff for HTTPS. I mean, how from noob who's totally on the ground go a little bit up on your damage. Maybe not a little bit, maybe much more. <coughs> Sorry about that, and then a little bit. Uh, how from Wanka become Big Chungus? So let's start it and let's go on. First, let's speak about armor because armor is fucking first thing what you need in game to do your fucking damage. Okay? Understand? Now, now cool? We cool? Now, yeah, we understand? Now, you listen to me? Yes. Nice. Blessed goes to Horn. It will help you increase your critical strike by by a lot. So it's definitely something what you need. And I'm just, yeah, my memory like a chicken and I have no idea how to get this. But of course you can go to YouTube and check this one. Armor, I will stay with Midnight Queeras because it's half my nice item level and Nice, 3% more damage for enemies who is not fucking facing you. Of course, it's from Hardscore Voss, so you need item level to go to inside Voss and you need to survive. It's kind of painful, but you get the deal, you get the deal. Arms, of course, again, for power. Because if you DPS, you, you want to do damage. You want to do damage, you need your power. No power, no damage. Easy peasy. I mean, what? I mean, I, I hope so. You are already tw level 20, so you're supposed to understand power is important. Of course, weapon set. Mirage. Mirage, Mirage. Mirage is still one of the best in slot bloody weapon set in all the entire game for almost probably, I think, for all DPS classes, at least for single target. And you can get it for free just farming Dexitis. Just go digging deep, deep, deep. Every hour, just go and go deep, you know. It's... And I will later explain you how to, for free, <laughs> you know how to upgrade them. And for feet, I can recommend you Rasad Iron Leggings for more, for f not more, it's 5% more damage. And of course it's half yeah. incoming, but your incoming healing will go for minus 25%. Your DPS, understand that. Your defense status doesn't matter because you are fucking DPS and you wanna do damage. You need to understand that. Okay? I know, I know healers probably will hate you because you don't have defense or another shit. It's okay. You are defense. You are defense. You DPM. DPM means damage per minute. So for first step, when you hit level 20, you wanna go from DPM to DPS. Damage per fucking seconds, not per minute. Because yeah, not many people know we have some DPM, DPMs, but it's okay. It's today not about that. Today not about that. Artifact set is depend on you. Of course, for Hunter is still a studio music box set, but it's still kind of expensive top thing to upgrade, blah, 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 blah. Or star set, like new one, Demogorgon set, blah, 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 blah. Rings, rings, rings. <coughs> Sorry. Ah. Of course, Ring of Salem Power. 
you can get it for free or you can buy it from auction house kind of cheap one and because you you wanna your power you know you wanna maximizing your power and another ring is depend on your class if you melee you can use melee ring if you range you can use range ring if you don't give a fuck use whatever you wanna easy peasy Hurts shirt is a bonus stained war shirt from master fucking expedition master expedition and you get only shirts yay it will give you 3% more damage which one can be very nice and pants i have no fucking idea about pants i'm still here with my tier 3 pants because it's only one pants which one i get okay don't judge me because of that it's expensive pants i mean it's kind of cheap pants but it's still now let's go to primary artifact one of the best primary artifacts with some nice item level is golden memories because it will do a lot of damage when you use it to enemies and it will give you some damage to the pow 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 but if you don't wanna buy this golden memories if you are poor like a bitch and if you can't obtain this just buy atropole essence it's very nice artifact for aoe for 10 seconds, I mean, it's kind of annoying. Everything fucking for 10, for 3 seconds. And the rest of artifact is depend on you. Just like I say, don't upgrade shitty artifact. Of course, you always can take Halaster or Knives or another artifact who can buff the buff your enemy single target mobs. It's just for future, you know, it's just for future to help your party. Let's move on. Ability shitty scores. Of course. If you melee, if you have magical attacks, you take intelligent or wisdom, I know, intel, ah, yeah, intelligent and something else. Like me, I still need on my normal build some more critical severity, so I'm used to dexterity. And it depends on you. And now about stats. That's important. Now listen, okay? This one you need to listen. Put volume on max, please. I will not repeat two times. All what you need as DPS is power, accuracy, combat advantage, critical strike, and bloody critical severity. The rest of them. What can we shit? Pure DPS. You don't need defense. I mean, kinda need you. It's really better for you to survive. Na, 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 na. It doesn't fucking matter. Trust me, it doesn't fucking matter. You can survive easily. The 29 awareness in Master Ariel or Tom. So, yeah. Of course, healer will hate you. Of course, healer will hate you. But it's a game, you know? It's, it's just a game. Chill. Let's move on to another one. Companions, companions, companions. If you just hit level 20 and, you, and you're still thinking what companion I need, like my summon who can do damage, I will recommend you. Abyssal chicken. It's one of the most cheap one companion. And it's still do nice damage on OE. Or if you save already 2 millions, just buy damn Regis. Because Regis have very nice attack for OE and kinda trash for single target, but it's okay though. Know? But it's it's about more about future because in future you need buy or tuna because it's one of the best. And personally, I think it's best fucking companion is Tuna for single target and Aoi. That's it. Yeah. Companion equipment. It's... I, I'm using, of course, big ones. Because, you know, I'm, I'm just flexing. Flexing forever, bitches. So, uh, you... If you open Sharandaria, you just need to go to your boundaries. And do your bounties until you get your gear. Of course, we still need to finish part 1, part fucking 2, and part freaky 3. To get free quests each day to obtain your companion gear. Do -do -do -do, companion gear. Do -do -do -do, and stone. Rune stones, of course. Indomitable rune stones. Yeah, it's hard to say or it's best just buy it or just upgrade it. But for what I tested, it's just cheaper to upgrade but it's you know it's for future because probably you're still a noob who just hit level 20 
and you have like 20,000 item level and I have no idea what the fuck next to do. Bam. Passive companions, it's cheap ones. All what you can see is best in slot and pretty much cheap one. Okay, it will be a couple maybe million for wild hunter. How much for wild hunter? Wild hunter, wild hunter, uh, not my companion. Uh, it's 400,000. So that's not so bad. So if you can use very fast your encounters, you wanna wild hunt rider for more your combat advantage and of course if you have only 10 percent chance on encounters used to increase combat advantage by 11.25 sorry about that for 10 seconds it's very nice companion of course you need to upgrade it to get full, full boost but i will explain you later you know you, you will see of course, Alchemist, it's not supposed to be too much expensive. Critical chance, combat advantage, face spider, critical chance, combat advantages, mercenary discipline. What the, uh, what did he fucking give? Power and combat advantage and style of combat advantage. Okay. It's not too much. It, it, it was not too much fast. I hope so. It's not. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the mount. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mystic Insignis, yes, I'm fucking flexing, okay, but I not speak about Mystic Insignis because you don't need it at new player. You don't need it. Because, I mean, if you have a very deep wallet with a lot of cash in your bank account, so why not? Next, because it's only one way how to obtain them. It's only one fucking way how to obtain Mystic Insignis, but today it's not about that. Colors. When you finish your level up, when you're finishing some campaign, you will get one color. Yeah, one color. And it's enough. Seriously, it's fucking enough. For you to start with one color, it's enough. You don't want to upgrade your color even to legendary. Because it's way too much expensive. It's just not fucking worth it. Yes, this will give you item level. That's it. But it's not worth it. So fuck the shit. You don't need five colors. It's enough. One or two color. It depends on you, of course. And next important thingy is this hour. This insignia bonus. Assassin Covenant. You lose 1000 your defense, deflect, crit avoid, awareness. But you gain 1000 accuracy, crit severity, crit strike and combat fucking advantage. What does mean, baby? What does mean? It's basically will take 1000 from defense and will put 1000 to your fucking offense ratings. What is nines? It mean you it's 5%. If you will be fucking smart enough, it will be 5%. All what you need, just buy some 5 mounts with Ward of Inspiration and you don't need to use a high rank insignia. You can use some blue or green insignias to get your buff. So it's like freaky fucking stupid 5% offense ratings. So yeah. Bang. And of course another thing what I supposed to mention is whip. Whip is good shit. Whip in this game there's only one thing what is worth it to buy it because of keys because of bloody keys this one and this one why you wanna keys you now you're thinking oh why you wanna keys i don't wanna keys yes you wanna keys enchanted key because with this key you can open loot box and when you open loot box you know what's really happen do you fucking know what will happen when you will open your loot boxes? Uh, give me a second. I, I, I mean, I can show you. I just not. I not found my loot boxes. Oh my god! Just so much crap in inventory. Oh come on! I know I have somewhere. Okay, here. Here, trade bars. Trade bars. It's things what you need to upgrade your mount and companions. It will be slow process, I agree. I agree. But it will be good shit. Trade bars is important to upgrade for free your companions. Here. 
go and buy your whip because it's worth it not nothing else just fucking whip plus you can you have of course chance to get some companion great tokens or regal insignia all this shit you know that's good stuff but mostly what is important is trade bars because for trade bars you can buy mount upgrade tokens one token is free trade bars so as you can see i can buy some 100 tokens that's not bad that's really not bad and you as free player you wanna upgrade your your companions and your mounts because of booster booster is basically item level and it's come a lot of item level so on start on start when you new newbie all what you need just choose one companion which one will be your pet active and upgrade it and one two three four five five rest companions if you don't have wild hunter or rider or if you can't hit your encounter fast you can always buy some fire arcoon so it will have almost same both buff but it's only have 10 percent chance on at will so for barbies fire arcoon is better in, in a lot of shit. so upgrading your companions is freaky important important it will be a lot of item level because yeah probably you still can't go to those but yeah and same will going with your mount and rest of the shit and of course if you have any bloody stupid question or it will be stupid it will be not stupid who fucking cares just write in comment and i will try answer okay peace понимаешь no спасибо блять Thank you for watching and see ya on the next one boys. Baby is out, hail Hydra and bye bye. Yeah, 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 yeah.